Hello, I'm Thomas. I'm a software engineer at GitLab, and I want to show you a real quick new feature that I'm uh, thinking about adding to the extension. It's called Tutorial, Duo Tutorial. So when you open a new VS Code window, you usually see this welcome view. You would see um, you would see a walkthroughs on the right hand side. When you click. Here there is several already existing walkthroughs and I added a new one called Learn with the Duo Tutorial and shows you that you can uh, uh, go through several practical, ex practical exercises and um, learn more advanced use cases. When you click on it, it opens a new file for you and it uh, tells you step by step what to do. So for example, it tells you that here you can just type space and Duo will start completing for you. Not only you can accept it with tab, but you can press command and right arrow to accept partial suggestion. And then for code generation, it explains you that you can either go after a command and press enter and see generation that starts, or you can press something, uh, you can type something in empty parentheses in a function and the generation starts as well. Then it walks you through how Duo Chat works. So you can um, highlight a, a snippet of code, press uh, option D or Alt D and ask, how can I improve this function? function and see what um, GitLab Duo Chat suggests. And it also tells you that you can accept the suggestion that Duo Chat is making for you like this. And that replaces the original function with a uh, with the suggestion. We've got Quick Chat where you can press Alt C and ask a question like, is this the best way to write Fibonacci function and see what the quick chat tells you. And then we've got explain this code where you can have some more complicated code and you press a right click and here GitLab Duo, explain selected snippet. And again, Duo is going to start explaining this memoize function. Last, second last one would be generating test with option T. Where Duo generates a few tests for the function that you, you give it like, like so. And last one is refactoring code. So you can highlight code, select option R as you are instructed here. And before we do that, if you like, okay, let's do this. Option, option R. And that's that. It removes this many nested ifs into early return and, and it's much simpler. So these are the seven tutorial steps that I would like to introduce to the extension. Let me know what you think.